What's going on, everybody? Hey, one of the most recent questions that I've been seeing is like how to find good breakers out there or reputable ones. And you know, I said before you used to be able to go on Breakers TV, and there were so many of us that were on there. Well, there was a short amount at first, and it grew, and then. What happened was with Breakers TV, the site would crash on release days. And as you know, as well as anything I could say, that when you have a break feed get cut, you start wondering. So what happened over that time was you were always running dual stream, both on Breakers TV. YouTube was a backup, so that way there was rarely no cutoff onto it. Well, a lot of guys just got tired of it. And they did their own thing. They either made their own Facebook groups or they're on uh, YouTube. I don't know if there's anything else anybody else really does it on. I mean, I, I wouldn't say anybody that's a big breaker, I don't know, does it on, like, anything but those two platforms, to be honest. So, what I want to do, and I forgot to grab me a screen capture here. I'm going to show you guys a site. And I pre it before in a video. All right, let me drag this up real quick. So, this is called Group Break Checklist, all right? Now you can come on here and you can get any group break checklist you want by clicking on it. And it'll bring it up by the way the breakers do it by teams and stuff like that. And it's done by, uh, I'm trying to remember his name, Thomas Wolf. Does a fantastic job by it. Always gets the stuff out quickly. He grabs the stuff from the big websites, Tops or Panini. And he ensures that, you know, everything's accurate and puts it out. And it's always been a great help for breakers because it's like easy for somebody to go out there and look to see, hey, what's the hits in this for my team? So anyhow, moving away from that, if you guys ever need anything, it's right down here. You guys can go to town on that stuff. Or you can click checklist up here and it'll bring you all the stuff. Well, anyhow, where I was going with this at, I forgot he did this. So you go up on top here, find a break, breakers list. It's spinning. Hold on. There we go. Tons of breakers. And I'm going to go through some of them that I've used before I still do use. A lot of these guys have been around for probably 10 years breaking. No joke. Firehand Cards, one of the originals. You can click here. It goes to their website, live streams, all that stuff. Now, if they're only a Facebook breaker only, I think the website takes you to their group page, if I recall. Most of you should know who Leighton Sports Cards is and Platinum Sports Cards. Two of the biggest out there. Cards Infinity, another great one. Jaspies, he used to be uh, under, I know he was working with Gelf originally and stuff, and he went on his own. They're really good to work with, too. And it, these are older guys I knew from my day on Breakers TV. Uh, Cardsmith Breaks, another good one. You guys know Dave and Adams does their own live stuff. Uh, Wolf's Breaks, pretty popular now. Mojo Break. Liberty Bell Breaks with Bruce. Let me tell you what. On a new release, there's very few people I will say this about because I don't like giving out secrets, but if you want good pricing on new releases that's not through the roof, but it, it flies. And he does his off his website, but he live streams on Facebook, I do recall. Uh, Real Breaks. One of the originals on Facebook. I'm talking probably like 100,000 members. When they line stuff, it fills instantly. And if you're not used to the way Facebook does breaks, it'll take a minute to get used to it. But very professional. They helped me when I first came out. Same with Platinum Card Breaks. They helped me. And uh, Bates is no longer around. G1. Uh, guys, I always recommend. If you can get into a real breaks um, break, <laughs> it kind of like rolled off there weird for a minute. But you won't be disappointed at all. They have fun. They do super fractor chases between the two of them. Because one's in Minnesota and one's in Ohio. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Minnesota and Ohio. So they, they have fun between them. Really big Facebook group. Huge, huge. Mm. And I know I'm probably going to miss some of these guys on here too. But I don't. I know I heard of them, but I just never broke with them. Cheap Fun Breaks, that's Houdini. Very good as well. G1 Cards with Ryan. Very professional. I've dealt with him from way back in the days. Great guy. I still break with him currently. Occasionally you'll see me in there, but I won't be underneath Extreme Card Breaks. I'm under my real name. Um, I recommend him as well, too. Geo Breaks, Mike Geo. Very, very professional. Very good breaks. 
GB Sports Cards, uh, George, really good. He does a lot of soccer. So if you're into soccer, you want to check him out. Now, you got to watch how he does his breaks because it kind of confused me at first with soccer because a lot of the big, big teams, he'll take the big player out and just sell it by player just to try to break up the cost. Or he'll do like, uh, what was the big one? Um, Dortmund by box, while everything else is like a full half, half case, half uh, or full case. So always look at that. Friendly box breaks, AG, really good. If you're just into doing box breaks, I, I can't complain. I dealt with him probably since 2014, 15. Real nice guy, too. Very friendly. Uh, vintage breaks. I th think this is the one where they do a lot of the vintage by pack, if I recall, and break and uh, vintage set breaks. I used to get into the vintage before it just sky high, and I think that's them here without clicking anything. DC Sports, another one. Very good with their breaks on there. They fill their live on Facebook only. And DC Sports is also the consignment. If you're going to do consignments, don't forget props team for PWCC. Use DC Sports. And no, none of these guys pay me to plug their stuff. This is all off of experience, just so everybody knows, too. All off of experience. Big Texas Breaks, another original one with Eric. Yeah, you all know this one, Jacob Monster to Monster Dance, where I'll occasionally do my breaks at. Uh, Jacob, really good guy, very easy to deal with. One of the cheapest as well, too, on new releases. You've got to be in there quick. He's strictly Facebook breaker. And he will joke around with his people, too. It, it's really good. He, he runs a very good room. Um, just look at some of these other. You guys know who Still City is. That's basically distributor slash breaker. I mean, I know some of the names aren't like sports car investor, but I never dealt with them. Three Kings of Cardboard, very good as well, too. Uh, they're on Facebook. I think he, he live streams, too, on YouTube. Some of them I forget, so I have to really think. Jay Vert's really good with football, if you're into football. JJ's real good. He's on Facebook as well, too. Some of the logos, I don't know. i got to read the names, so it's giving me a second. I know Badger Breaks a while back. He was doing his stuff all eBay and breaking on YouTube and Breakers TV, but I, I never broke with him, so I don't know anything else. I just remember seeing him all the time. Gator Box Breaks, he was an original for a while. He was one of the few who were only doing soccer. Um, I did get into a few stuff of his. I had no issues. I'm trying to remember any of these other guys' names here. I might have started off. Big Time Shimmy, another great guy. Let me tell you, he's the one helping me set my computer up over by the phone. When I asked for help the other day on a computer, like he jumped on it, I mean, instantly. Him and my buddy Jimmy. Um, so... He breaks solely on Facebook. He doesn't break every day, probably maybe two, three times a week, depends on product. Ships out quickly, very good shipping. Uh, check him out as well, too, if you guys want it strictly YouTube. But he does stream on his breaks are on Facebook to get the spots, but he does dual stream on YouTube. I'd make sure I get that out there correctly. Uh, that's pretty much it of these guys that I know. I mean, there's a ton of them out there. I'm sure they're all good. Thomas Wolf probably bought into every one of these guys' stuff, and he wouldn't put them on there if he didn't recommend them. But overall, this is where you go. Link will be in the description. People always ask me about it, and I totally forgot about this website with this stuff on to here. But you guys want to look at breaks. It tells you where they're from on some of these and that. He did a phenomenal job putting this together. Uh, I just went through just give you guys some of the ones that I know personally have dealt with through the years. Uh, very, very good guys, the ones I named. I have never had an issue. If there was a problem with shipping, they always went through everything to make sure they made it right. And, you know, I, I could never speak bad about any one of them on there, especially when I was first starting out in late 95, early 96 into uh, 
being a breaker, these guys helped me out so much. I mean, platinum card breaks, real breaks, nasty breaks, G1, AG helped me out. I was looking to see if Top Notch Phoenix Breaks was on here, but I don't see him. He does a lot of hockey. If you like hockey, hockey, he's out of Arizona. I think he ships once per week, but really good prices, really good breaks if you're into hockey. Yeah, I didn't see him on here. But a lot of these guys are just older guys that were around when Breaking first started making a thing on Vaughn TV, so I knew the names and I broke with them. But I wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, link will be in the description. I'll pin it to the top comment as well, too. So hopefully this will help you guys out. We're looking for good breakers because you're a lot of the comments always say there's all these Instagram breakers and everything like that. I don't do breaks on Instagram. I never will. I may be wrong for saying that. I know people do them. I just, I, it's just not me. My, my, my way of looking at it and doing them, you know, I'm setting my ways. And I guess you could say I'm just not into the new way of doing it. I just rather stick with what works. I, I'm one of them keep it simple people. So, I mean, if, you, if you're a breaker or you're getting breaks on Instagram, it's nothing against you. I just don't do them at all. Uh, just one of those things. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it everybody. So hopefully this helps out a little bit uh, when you're trying to find breaks I think this is coming out Thursday or Friday. I forget which day I had it marked for on the list, but um Check it out because that way it gives you guys the weekend You check some of these guys out when they're breaking or when they go live and stuff And like I said, I trust a good well, anybody I mentioned on there I do trust because I've broken with them they've spent Probably tens of thousands of dollars with a lot of them. A couple of them probably oh, definitely over six figures. So that's $100,000. Make sure I said that right. But anyhow, have a good weekend, guys. If you can, check out my two live streams this weekend. The one's going to be short and quick with the giveaway. And the other one's just going to be an auction that night. And then I'll get all that stuff shipped out on Saturday there, buddy. All right. Have a good one. Take care.